The case of the Warboys witches is perhaps one of England's most popular witch trial cases. It was mid-March 1590 and both Lady Suzanne Cromwell Weeks, the second wife to Sir Henry Cromwell, whom was the grandfather of Oliver Cromwell, were landlords of the Samuel family. Alice Samuel, a 76-year-old woman, was accused of witchcraft by the daughters of Robert Throckmorton. They had fallen ill with strange fits. Lady Cromwell and her daughter-in-law visited the troubled Throckmorton household to offer them their sympathies for the suffering of the children. The daughters pointed the finger at Alice alongside her husband John and daughter Agnes. These would go on to be called the Witches of War Boys. According to the pamphlet, Lady Cromwell had not long stayed in the house, but the children which were there fell into their fits and were so grievously tormented for the time that it pitied the good ladies to hear, to see them, in so much that she could not abstain from tears. It was not long before Lady Cromwell requested that, that Alice Samuel attend the Throckmorton's home. She clearly felt that she had no choice but to attend despite the repercussions in the hope that her family landlord would not be disrespected. Much to her panic, when Alice arrived, the daughter's condition worsened and this did not bode well for the Samuel family. Accused of causing the suffering of the young daughters, Alice was understandably panicked. She wholeheartedly denied the accusation, but Lady Cromwell reminded Alice that it was not Master and Mistress Throckmorton who had accused her, but the girls themselves, or rather, the spirit that spoke through the girls when they were in their fits. Joan Throckmorton therefore supported her daughters in the allegation against Alice and protested that she had performed witchcraft on the girls. Lady Cromwell wished to question her in the presence of a visiting divine, Master Dr Hall. Alice made excuse after excuse and tried to leave to go home, but Lady Cromwell became frustrated and she was not satisfied with her excuses. Lady Cromwell cut off a lock of her hair. She then took the old woman's hair lace and gave both to the mother of the children, with the instruction to put both in the fire to burn them to break Alice's power over the girls. At this unexpected violation, Alice Samuel desperately asked, Madam, why do you use me thus? I never did you any harm as yet. Allegedly, Lady Cromwell left the Throckmorton household that night to return home and was awoken by tormenting dreams of Alice. She did not sleep well. She woke up her daughter-in-law. The older woman described how a cat sent to her by Alice Samuel had tormented her in her sleep threatening to pick the skin and flesh from her arms and body. Shortly afterwards, Lady Cromwell became increasingly ill and started to have fits similar to the daughters at the Throckmorton's household. Lady Cromwell never forgot the words uttered to her by Alice Samuel that she had not caused her any harm as yet. It was rumoured that Lady Cromwell had succumbed to Alice's witchcraft and she later passed away on the 11th of July, 1592, a year and a quarter after her ill-fated visit. Alice was imprisoned in Huntingdon together with her daughter and husband. The family were tried in April 1593 for the murder of Lady Cromwell by witchcraft. John Samuel was forced to tell a confession, admitting that he was a witch and had been involved in the death. He then ordered Joan Throckmorton to come out of her fit. He was right to have been nervous about repeating the words. The girl appeared as if cured afterwards. Alice Samuel was forced to repeat the same words and the same cure was witnessed. That evening, the judge himself attended the pair. He was convinced that beyond doubt, the only thing that ended Joan's fits was a charge recited by Agnes. As I am a witch and a worse witch than my mother and did consent to the death of Lady Cromwell, so I charge the devil to let Mistress Joan Throckmorton come out of her fit at present. The following day they were found guilty after five hours of debating for the bewitching of the five daughters of Robert Throckmorton and for the bewitching to death of the Lady Cromwell. Bewitching to death carried with it the death penalty. On the day of their execution, Alice Samuel was asked to confess in her final moments that she was responsible for bewitching Lady Cromwell in an act of revenge for cutting her hair and burning it. She did, however protect both her husband and daughter until the very end of whom were murdered anyway. Please comment, like and subscribe if you wish for more stories and leave your suggestions below and I will endeavour to cover them. Mm -hmm.